Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London. I'm currently sat in my smart car waiting for Sloane Street parking to become free at half past six. And today is quite an exciting day. You may recall about a month ago, Tom, a good friend of mine who has the limited edition BMW M3, um, had a grey RS7, but it wasn't the best looking RS7. It didn't have a few options that I would have liked. It didn't have the big wheels. It didn't have the sports exhaust and it was in a grey, not very nice. However, the good news is he's got an RS7 today and it is much sportier. News or rumour has it, it's got the sports exhaust system which crack, bangs and pops. And I'm currently in London as I just mentioned. So I'm waiting around for Tom to arrive and then he's going to take me out in the RS7. I'm going to do a good video on what this car is like inside and out, both accelerating and around town how big it is, Tom says it's a yacht. So Tom's latest RS7 that he's driving has come with a much better package. You can see that it's got the silver down here, silver around here, it's a 2015 one, so it's a little bit sharper on the edges, new headlights, new tail lights, much better wheels. These are the sporty wheels. The interior looks better, I'll show you that more when um, I've actually got the key in front of me, or to hand. I'm waiting for him, he's somewhere around here. And then from the back, he's left the air brake up. He's obviously pressed the button to override that. Traffic's quite bad, but let me know what you think of the RS7. This is a much cooler one. I think this is a beast. It's so long though, compared to the smart car, this is like a 100 foot yacht. First impressions of RS7. Has this got sports exhaust? Yep. Yep. Oh, that is quick. <laughs> <laughs> Did the last RS7 have these seats? I feel like these are comfier. No. The last um the last one had like comfort seats, so the last ones are supposed to be more comfortable. Oh, um, I prefer these. Yeah, these are much nicer. Timmy, what do you think? Uh, they're very, very nice. Good. Lovely. Good comment. Everyone's happy. Yes. Everyone's happy. <laughs> Those gear changes are pretty cool. Oh, do it again. <laughs> the downshifts are good on this car with the sports exhaust. Crackle and pop. Oh, that's quick. <laughs> getting thrown around here. Uh, yeah, keep going left. <laughs> that was a nice smooth acceleration there. The handling's pretty good to be fair. Yeah, it handles like a boat. <laughs> <laughs> So this video is going to feature me and Tom trying to give an overview of the 2015 RS7 with Dimmy in the back who's going to give us a chauffeur driven perspective yes. of what it's like. Smooth? Very smooth. Yeah? Right. Even with Tom's right foot? Yeah, I'm getting a bit twitchy but... My right hand as well, it's even worse. <laughs> we go left in. Or oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> Extra number one, silver wing mirrors, silver pack, exterior pack. Option number two, carbon fiber. Option number three, sunroof featuring poo. <laughs> Option number four is like interior lighting, the executive package. I'm literally naming and making up the Audi spec list. There's a first aid kit in there as well. First aid Might kit. Might come in handy fairly shortly if I carry yeah. on. Yeah. Head on with any 45. Left this one. Left here. Yeah. I Turn left start. now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is slightly different to the smart car I'm currently driving. It's long, powerful, 
and that's it really that's the only thing that's different that's probably awful on fuel economy what's it like on fuel economy uh 7.7 .7 average 7.7 .7 average it is being driven by a complete wally though <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good description 7.7 mm. .7 .7 miles to the gallon that's like nissan gtr territory do you think these people like revs don't know Let's see Ooh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the last car they expect to drive by and rev to the rev limit is an Audi RS7. Yeah, well, they got it. <laughs> Have a good evening. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Yeah, it's a Tuesday, but what are they all doing outside a pub? There's loads of paparazzi. What's going on here? Who is it? I wasn't even expecting you to do that. No, I was kind of no, well, you've, you've got to learn now. If there's a crowd of people, I'll do it. <laughs> I was intrigued to see that. Hey, look at the crazy flashes. Glamour. You've got the, you've got the power. I have, but I don't have the ability to go with it. <laughs> right, I reckon you're good to go. Um, uh, we're getting after this one. Now. Whee! That's quite a nice Rolls Royce. I don't know whether my camera's going to pick this up. We're being discussed. Sunroof. Sunroof. My, yes. No, no, no. We'll leave the sunroof. We'll just do the side. Sunroof windows. audio. We <laughs> are discussing techniques to drive through this tunnel because we haven't got long. So I would say through first gear, don't change gear and then let the revs come down so you get the crackle and pop of the sports exhaust. We'll probably lose a bit of MPG doing that. However, I can't lose any more to us. <laughs> If we then accelerate into second gear, we get the exhaust crackle. So let's hope my camera picks this up. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I think we nailed it. One thing that Tom has mentioned this car doesn't have is blind spot assist, which had on the old one. If you remember the video where I went out in the um, grey RS7, it had something there. I don't know whether I put it in the video, but I did see a Lamborghini Diablo on Stone Street, so can you go there, please? Quickly! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> it takes off, the nose just lifts up, and rockets come out the back. So let's have a look at this Lamborghini Diablo. Did you see it, Dimmy? No, I didn't even see it. Dimmy, the car spotter 164, did not see the Lamborghini Diablo parked up on Sloan Street. Jesus. Let's record on this as well. Tuesdays on Sloan Street. It's ludicrous. Yeah, that is. So there we have it ladies and gentlemen, that is a 2015 Audi RS7 with my smart car in the back. Hope you enjoyed it, it was a bit of a just a drive around, very casual, nothing too serious, but it was a really, really cool spec. Absolutely love that car and it sounds awesome. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you soon tomorrow for another daily vlog.